IAM, Identity and Access Management under Security, Identity and Compliance. First of all, we will go to users. <coughs> As you can see, we already have a user. If you would like to add a new user, you click on add user. Let's suppose the user I am adding here is the name of the user is test. At a time, you can add 10 users. 10 users you can add. At a time, you can specify the name of 10 users at a time. Now, there are two types of accesses. First is AWS Management Console access. This is AWS Management Console where we are working right now. Another one is programmatic access. Let's suppose you want to attach your this particular account with the name called test with any of the APIs, application program interfaces. Or you want to access this account using a CLI, command line interface, or from an SDK software development kit or any other development tool. So in that case, you need to assign this particular permission. Now, if you will give programmatic access, in that case, it will give you an access key ID and a secret key ID. This will be acting as your username and the password for the programmatic access. Next, we want that we will specify a custom password. Let's go and specify it Red Hat123. And we do not want that on the next login, it will ask us to change the password. We will remove this. We will go to next permissions. Now here, if you want to add a group, you can add a group and put this user into a group. But what we are doing here is we are directly attaching a policy with this particular user. We will click on attach existing policies directly. So as you can see, there are somewhere about 278 policies. Right? And the policy is the set of permissions. Let's suppose I am collecting here S3. So as you can see, there are few permissions on policies on S3. First is Amazon S3 read only access and another one is Amazon S3 full access. Let's suppose we would like to give Amazon S3 full access to this user test. And I will click on review. I will click on create user. Now once this user will get created, you will be assigned a access key ID for the programmatic access. Now, access key ID you can see anytime in this account, but secret key ID you will not be able to see. So, let's suppose uh, and secret key ID you will not be able to get again. So, in that case, you can copy it and save it, or you, you can also download it into the CSV format to so copy and paste. Click on close. Our user is ready. Right. If you want to enter into this user account, you will go to the dashboard. There is a link which is entire your sign in.aws.amazon.com slash console. You will do control C. You will go to the other browser. We have opened the other link here. Click on enter. that 
I am not authorized to describe this. But if I will go to S3, I can treat bucket. 